What's up guys? Julius at Drolius Food Photos and Videos that Make You Drool. All right, it is March 28th, 2020. Uh, you know, right now we're going through the whole social distancing and COVID-19. We were practicing self-quarantine, staying at home, but whatever you guys call it in your city, uh, I'll just call it lockdown. While the city is on lockdown and you're supposed to be practicing staying at home, you do obviously have to go get food and eat. So we're here at El Rey Del Taco. Very excited to have tacos. We've been craving Mexican tacos because it's weird not to go out and eat like we usually do. We're going to get food before we go to the grocery store so we don't buy everything. Thing. And we're gonna go check out one of the Asian markets here in the area in Atlanta and very excited to eat tacos um, Oh Odessa got them right now, so we were able to get them to go or for pickup and look here. She is All right, let me get her door for her So pickup is obviously a good way to support a local restaurant. So like we have the tacos inside here Okay, this is what it's come down to eating tacos inside the car, but you know we love some tacos and can't have the tortillas too soggy. Awesome, they provided us with some limes. I'm going to squeeze a little lime on my, here we go. All right, eating my first taco in a long time. Dang, that is good. This is how we social distance. Tacos in the car. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. They even provided us, look at that, Salsa's Verde Roja. Our second round, oh yeah, look at that. We have Al Pastor and two carnitas. Looking good. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Man, I love their green salsa, so that's the one I'm going to use. Oh, that's spicy. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Check this out. Oh, yes. All over, all day. These are handmade tortillas. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. With the assist, more. There you go. Thank you. Spicy, yeah. It's spicy, but it's so good. Oh, my gosh, so good. Okay, tips for supporting local restaurants and then going uh, to get groceries. First, go to your local restaurant and order. Eat in the car so your food doesn't get cold or soggy. Then go grocery shopping, right? And then after that, go home. Local restaurant, groceries, then go home. All right, cool. My favorite orchata here. After the meal, little hand sanitizer, ready to go. All right, so that shows you how convenient supporting a local restaurant is, and yeah, you don't have to wait till you get home, just eat in the car. I know getting food to go is not anything new. Um, it's just something that we normally don't do because we like to go inside a restaurant and, exp and you know, have the full experience and take photos and the full spread of, of, of tacos, but um, don't feel like you have to bring it back home. You can actually eat in the car date night in the car or daytime date what is that called day date day date you can day date in the car <laughs> regardless this is a good way to still support your local restaurants whether you uh, take your food to go curbside pickup is a, a is a popular option right now that are offer one thing I do uh, recommend is if you can go pick up the uh, the food itself it is better for you to call the restaurant and pick up the food rather than doing something to Uber Eats or some delivery companies. Yes, it is convenient, but restaurants are losing 25 to 30 to 35 percent of revenue, and the people who are making the money are actually the delivery companies um, more than the restaurant. Not only support your local restaurant, but also do the pickup so they can actually have more of a sustainable profit so they can stay open for you guys. Make sure to like this video. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure to follow or subscribe depending on your platform. All right, next stop, the grocery store. Comment below and let me know which restaurants you have uh, gotten takeout for or to go or curbside pickup or delivery. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys soon, all right? Peace.